throwing hand signals, like um, stressor signals the whole time. Like I'm walking behind him and he's like twinging his fingers a lot. It's like, you know how gangs actually, um, like in America and stuff, they'll stack, they do stacking, they're gang signs and that. You know how they do that in, you know, gangs? Well, it happens in gang stalking, which has nothing to do with MS-13 or Bloods and Crips or those type of gangs. Like, they were the gangs I was referring to. You know, they do stacking and all that. But, um, oh, look how good my stack is. <laughs> but, um, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where they do the hand signals and they do the stacking of east side, west side and all that. Well, in gang stalking, there's also like hand signals. That guy was just like doing weird twinges with his hand. And look, you, you could again, like usual, think it's nothing, but I could feel it. And so I just wanted to put that on video very, very quickly. I missed it. I mean, I didn't capture the footage for you. I missed it because like it was happening for about 10 seconds. I went, oh, oh, I've got to, you know, capture this. And I had to pull out my phone from the bag and I missed the actual footage. And as you see, he turned off just in perfect timing. Like I've said before, it's like they know often when you're watching and then gang stalking stops. And every time I don't have my phone, I miss some like really good technical footage. And like that time, say I was walking along with a spy camera, we would have caught the footage. <laughs> and this is another reason I want to wear a spy camera around. I want to show you guys everything from gang stalking. So just, yeah, the way I, um, I knew that was that I felt, I felt the guys like, movements on my neck and um, it's like a subconscious thing sometimes to make you feel guilty and stressed around the neck to make you feel frustrated there's certain um, things around the neck you start around the back of the neck and these are kundalini healings so this is actually you know low healing it's not prana 10th dimensional high healing but this is like initial healing kundalini so when, when they do all these weird hand signals and people, I know there's other videos out there which show it. There's, there's people who know what I'm talking about. But what I'm trying to deliver to you, something new is, yes, it's a spell. It's like they're stacking language. Do you understand? It is a spell. They are spelling. So it is a spell. Right? Okay. I need you to understand. That's why I related it to the gangs and the gang signs and the stacking. Because it's language based and so what I'm actually also even moreover trying to add is that um, not only is it language like that but it will hit you subconsciously on your nervous system and make you feel um, the whole nape of the neck has different um, kundalini mantras that you heal with your center of the palm where the energy comes in and so you uh, have mother I'm not responsible right around the back I'm not involved and then you have, um, so mother, I'm not responsible, I'm not involved, I'm not guilty. Then there is uh, not frustrated around the front. And I could actually feel that guy's hands like uh, coming straight. Like his, his signals are throwing off um, vibrations and light and casts. This is casting and he was spell casting. And so it throws off, you know, vibrations, oscillatory form through the airwaves or whatever. I don't think it's through the airwaves, by the way. I think all these, uh, these travelings happen on the sub-quantum level of the fifth dimensional topological field. And, um, so, he, so you'll actually feel the vibrations and, you know, it's just again sticking you to the surface, trying to stick you to the surface of reality, bog you down into matter. And I don't know, it's just one of the things that they do while you're walking around town. Like, that's how it starts, with little hand signals and little things. And then they start bumping into and stuff like Inception. You know, when you, you change something in the movie Inception, or the subconscious of the person's dream, who you're inside, starts to attack you. You know that scene out of the movie Inception? 
that's like how it ends up more by the end of the day or after an hour or two. But they always start with the little things like the little hand signals, the little things to get your attention and piss you off. And it's to get you annoyed, to get you out of your dream state. Because I'm walking around dreaming. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming awake. I'm walking around dreaming, my third eye's on. I don't even notice people half the time. But you know when it's the gang stalker because they make you notice them. Okay? They'll do that by staring at you. And that's also that inception type feel. And that, like you're dealing with what? The subconscious of something. Right, and what I'm saying is it's the subconscious of our species morphogenetic field that we're dealing with when you get all these inception like moments in your life from gang stalking. It's actually the subconscious of our species morphogenetic field. Okay, so it's like our species subconscious as a stabilization field, um, you know, feels your high vibration and it closes in on it straight away. Because it's a stabilization field. It feels your vibration as pain. Because you know when you ground, for instance, barefoot on the earth, on grass, and you all the pain comes off and you feel after an hour no pain, right? But at the start, maybe your shoulder hurts. And then after an hour, it doesn't hurt anymore, right? So that's that bogging. That's that positive charge bogging you to the surface of reality they bring you into your pain body, like I've said before. So it's just all lower contextualizing you, right? And like I said, it starts off with like little, like little hand signal stuff, the gang stalking, and then progresses. There's a video I just shot called the um, gang stalking algorithm. Because I've, I've figured out there's like an algorithmic process. So I need to, uh, I'm going to write a book on it, I think. I think that's book worthy, but I'll make a little video. So anyway, I just want to talk about the, the hand signals, even though I missed capturing it. Did you notice though, right when I turn on the camera, he walks away? I don't know. It's just, it always happens like that. When I don't have my phone, I miss technical footage. When I do have my phone, I get the end, like I get something after it just happened. I don't know, that sucks for you guys, but I'm trying. Anyway, that's why we should get me a uh, spy camera. And then we can do a properly walk around with the spy camera in my little jumper. And then we can see all the reactions of everyone and everything. <laughs>